Hello everybody, uh, this is Kira back with another tutorial from My Porch Prints. Today we are going to be putting together a faded photo foldout. Try saying that four times fast. Anyway, um, it's just going to be a really quick and simple little project that you can put together with this template that we have made for you guys. Um, you can go ahead and get this down in the description box below. There should be a link for it. And basically all you have to do is print that template on any paper that you like. Um, I am using the faded scraps collage sheets and taking an X-Acto knife, I'm just going to cut out the circle as well. And then using a little bit of this uh, transparency film. And if you don't have transparency film, you can also just take like an old CD case and cut out the plastic from that and use that as well, just sort of cutting it to fit. Um, but I just went ahead and used the transparency transparency film, which I will link down below, and cut out a small square from it, and I will just be gluing that down to help create like the little window. Just using a little bit of glue and securing that down. And I went ahead and used like a little paper towel just to wipe away any fingerprints when I was done. And this is what it should look like when it's finished. And I went ahead and made, I think, seven of these. Yeah, seven of them just to kind of get everything done off camera, but it's all the same process. And then you don't have to do this. It's totally optional, but I decided to sew like a little decorative border around the edge of it like this. And when they were all finished, I put them all out and folded the edges. So just folding the edges and the back down and gluing everything closed. Just like that. And then I went ahead and took some of our faded photos that we have in the shop, specifically the fall ones, since fall is coming. And I cut those out and just slid them into each of the little file folders. just like that, leaving the flap open. And next I'm going to be taking some string and cutting it just a little bit long. I didn't do any specific measurements here, just making sure it was long enough I could tie it closed. And then grabbing our decorative folders, just choosing three that I liked. Um, I'm going to be setting the third one aside and starting with the first two, uh, gluing one of the flaps down to the other case on the edge without the fold over flap here like this. Sort of just pressing it down and when you're done it should look like this. Should be able to just kind of swing freely. And then I went ahead and sealed this edge shut because I had the photo falling out. So you don't have to do this. Um, it, you can just cut a slit on the top and pull the photo out if you still want to be able to remove the photo. But I went ahead and just sealed mine completely shut. And then taking our third one, just doing the same thing and adding that uh, bit of glue to the edge here and securing it to the back of the second folder like so. Again, closing it shut and there you go it should sort of fold out like this and then adding a bit of glue we're going to just be gluing it down on top of the string and down to our page make sure not to put it too close to the inner spine otherwise your book may have trouble folding shut and then you can just use those two loose ends of the string to tie it shut and securely hold it in place. And when you want to open it, just untie the string and pull out the little tab like this. And there you go. Pretty quick and simple little project. Adds a little bit of nice dynamic movement to your journal. 
and I'm gonna real quick show you how to do it on the other side if you want it to fold up and down instead of uh, horizontally. So it's basically the same process, but you'll want to remember to like move your photos around so that they are facing upright uh, whenever you unfold the project. And just gluing the flap down behind the first part, like so. And the third one, making sure that the image is facing up, like this. And there you go! That is the second fold out finished. Go ahead and glue it down on top of the string. Give it a little moment to dry, and there you go! And you don't have to use these like this. You could just have them sort of um, stand alone as like pockets or like little ephemera pieces that you just kind of tuck into your book like this. So they don't actually have to be glued together. Um, and you can also print decorative paper on the inside so that it's not white when you pull the photo out. So kind of a little versatile project. You can use it however you want. And again, optional, you can finish it up by adding some fussy cuts and cheesecloth and decorate them just to give them a little bit more interest and dimension. And there you go. So that is the faded photo fold out uh, finished. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of F's there. <laughs> Alright, so thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye!